Israel in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17, it was faced with a battle. Israel, a royal nation, Israel, a royal priesthood, it had a battle before them. How did it become a possibility? A nation after God's heart to meet a battle, to meet a challenge. Let me remind you, brothers and sisters, it doesn't matter you're a Christian. It doesn't matter you don't believe in Jesus. All of us were bound to meet battles in our lives. Now, what you do when you're faced with a battle, it determines your destiny. Their battle was Goliath. Their challenge was the Philistines. The Bible says that Goliath would come in the morning. Goliath would come in the evening. Goliath would come and say all those sort of rough words to Israel. But I have a problem with Israel in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17. They knew God was faithful. They knew God was a warrior. But no one wanted to take a step to challenge the Goliath who was in their life. David is about to fight the giant. Eliab, his own blood brother, is discouraging David. Did you know, church, that each time we are about to win over our battles, each time we are about to conquer our giants, our own family members are able to discourage us. Our own biological fathers can discourage us from, from winning that battle. But blessed are those who open their ears only to God other than to what people say about them. Our weapon is one when it comes to defeat our giant. Let us fight our giant through prayer. It is that prayer which is weighed and tested. Ask Hannah. She didn't have a child. She prayed and she was blessed with a child. God is still in the business of answering our prayers. God is still in the business of defeating our giants. God is still in the business of activating those who were deactivated by the devil. When God is on your side, you will remove your DNAs from your problem and you will personalize the problem to be his. In other words, those battles, you think they are battles. They are not your battles. Turn it over to Jesus. You may not have money. Turn it over to Jesus. You may not be married. Turn it over to Jesus. They may hate you in your family. Turn it over to Jesus. You may be struggling to forgive. Turn it over to Jesus. That Goliath is going to fall as long as you believe in Jesus. Goliath did not die when the stone met the forehead. Goliath died when David took the first step of faith. Are you willing to take a step of faith in your life so that your Goliath is going to disappear. I do not care how tall, how big your Goliath is, but with Jesus, everything is possible. I don't know the battle you are facing in your life. I do not know the challenge you ought to win this morning. Learn to depend on God in all of your battles. Let me remind those who join the Christian movement. It is an army who are on the move from planet Earth unto heaven. And along this way, we are bound to meet the enemy, which is the devil. We have forgotten to fight those battles through reading the word of God. We are too quick to forget to pray. Yet that's where the strength of winning our battles lies in. 